Hey y'all, it's Sparkle. Um, have my phone here because I have notes that I want to make sure that I say everything that I want to say today. Um, and forgive the bolting of the jets overhead. We got the air mortar show here. Um, I want to put a few things in context. Um, I'm letting those who really know, support and love me know that this, this is a family feud. Yesterday was a day I didn't think I'd ever see. Nevertheless, at this point, I'm pretty much prepared for anything. After I learned my niece was cooperating with the investigators, I prayed and I thanked God. Also, I did some thinking as I often do throughout this whole process. Asked myself, if I were them, what could be said that legitimately make this make sense and spare them from crazy? My answer is nothing. Knowing that there's no right answer to explain their ongoing actions and years of support for Robert once learning about that tape, the clear plan is to try to take me down because I've been so vocal. I knew that there was some anger and resentment because of my stance, which is why I'm like, okay, they're gonna handle it their way and I'm going to handle it my way. And I was thinking, one day my niece will be older and will have a real heart to heart conversation. And there's no expiration on this concept, but I'm very clear that day ain't close. I know us speaking privately and candidly to her it looks like betrayal of her mother. But now being an adult, I was hoping she was closer to being more independent thinking at this point. Yesterday, my niece absolutely, <clears throat> she absolutely doing the will of her mom. This is another form of the terrible decision making of her mom. And in my opinion, the unfortunate continuing allegiance to Robert. As the youngest of the group and all I've ever known was family and community. So I operated from that space from the beginning of my career by bringing them in to show them that it was not just about me, but about us getting this record deal that I was about to get. We were a gospel group just years prior. So me thinking about them for them was partly programmed in me all I knew. Again, because Robert was given the opportunity to have his own imprint record label, I introduced my sister, my brother-in-law, and my niece to Robert at CRC Studios in 97 in hopes of landing my niece a career as an artist in this industry. Not a concert as she testified. I didn't stop there. I asked Robert to check out my brother-in-law who played the guitar and other family members in hopes he'd assist them with their musical careers as well. I'm saying this again. I'm saying this again to say not all that you heard yesterday from my niece is true. I don't want to hinder this legal process, I don't, but to testify that I had my niece sit on Robert's lap and rub his head and have her ask him to be her godfather is an absolute fucking lie. You all cannot imagine the hurt that comes from pain caused by the people that you live and are willing to die for. Another lie, Robert and I were never in a romantic relationship, never. To show you sabotage is a highly priority within them. If Robert and I were in a romantic relationship, you and your mom was cool allowing you to start a relationship with him? Again, no right answers for their actions. This journey of mine, I started with the greatest of intentions and all I've gotten from it is hell. This is not how we were raised and it has fucked up family names, relationships, and the death, allegedly. Enough is enough. I've endured being not believed before, so my niece's false statements don't bother me as much as her mindset and willingness to tell the lies. I'm certain it's from her mom, certain. But she's now old enough 
to start bearing some level of responsibility of her actions. I love her more than life itself. So this is all I'm going to say regarding her and her mother, unless I have to.